A bizarre series of incidents coming to light today involving a man with an axe. Last Thursday morning, residents in at least two neighborhoods in Waterloo Region woke up to damaged vehicles. That same morning, OPP arrested a man for striking a parked vehicle with an axe on Wellington Road 86. Now, CTV's Stephanie Davis has been looking into this story and joins us live this hour. So, staff police say the same man is responsible. Alex Waterloo Regional Police say the person who took an axe to their cars, or pardon me, cars within their jurisdiction, was the one later arrested by OPP. Residents whose cars were hit say it was a startling way to start their day. My neighbor knocked at the door. And it's not how the Inwood family wanted to kick off their first camping trip of the season. Our neighbor across the street informed me that an axe had gone through our windshield, so I was a little flustered because it was supposed to be our first day of vacation. Walking outside their Forest Heights home, they saw the extent of the damage. There was glass all over the front seat of the car. They hit the hood, the front taillight was broken, the front vent was popped off. They learned a man with an axe hit their car and they say at least 10 others nearby. I was just shocked and surprised and then to see that it wasn't just ours, that there, uh, like a bunch of vehicles in the neighborhood had been hit, um, it, it just it just seemed bizarre. That same morning in nearby Mannheim Estates, one resident woke up to this around 6.20 a.m. They did not want to appear on camera, but say nearby vehicles were also hit. About an hour later, OPP officers were called to Wellington Road 86. A man had reportedly taken an axe to a car parked at a business and had stolen electronics from nearby businesses. He was arrested and remains in custody, facing more than a dozen charges, including mischief and theft. He was charged with impaired operation, so that means that the officers on scene did form reasonable grounds that the driver was impaired, whether by alcohol or drugs. Waterloo Regional Police, who are investigating the neighborhood attacks, say the person responsible for those was the man arrested by OPP. As for the Inwoods, they're waiting to hear just how much damage was done. The Dodge Ram wasn't drivable, so now it's in the shop and we don't really know the expense of it or how long it's going to take to fix. So that was that was slightly inconvenient. Um, it was a little bit yeah, it was a little bit of a whirlwind day. The Waterloo Regional Police say they expect to release details about the string of neighborhood attacks within the next day. And Waterloo Regional Police will have separate charges for what happened in Waterloo Region. A spokesperson says they're waiting for those to be read in court before releasing more information. That's expected within the next day, Alex. Okay, Stephanie, thank you for that.